Good morning everyone, happy Vlogmas Day 4! Walking not one in the morning. It's actually not as cold as yesterday, thank goodness. Yesterday was cold, huh? She doesn't care. She's got a nice coat of fur. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to head to work, but really quickly I'm gonna open my advent calendar. So let's see what's inside. Alright, so we are looking for day four. Here it is, it's the big one, the owl who quite frankly it scares me. <laughs> Those other socks with the owl are so terrifying. Okay, some of these are really, really hard. Let's see, ew. I need a pen or something. Okay, let me put you down for a second. All right, with the help of a pen, I got it to open. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Little pandas wearing earmuffs. And I think it's really cute because the earmuffs kind of look like chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> so cute. Super adorable. What's up, guys? I am home from work. Quick and easy shift. I am just now starting some laundry and going to hop in the shower. Tonight, my sister-in-law are going to see Julie Andrews in person i cannot believe i think it's called an evening with julie andrews or a conversation with julie andrews something like that um i'm sure you know because it's probably the title of this video but i am so 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 excited and yeah i'm gonna shower wash my hair so i can either straighten or curl it i'm not sure and i'm trying to pick out a cute outfit but it's gonna be cold so i don't know what i'm gonna do probably a dress with some leggings and boots but we'll see and yeah, I'm just so excited, guys. I like cannot contain my excitement. Like I'm literally tearing up right now. Like when I was in high school, I listened to Julie Andrews songs on repeat when I was in choir and theater. And I just wanted to be so much like her. I admire her so much. And then the beginning of this year, coincidentally, I happened to read her first autobiography, Home, which I heard that there's a second one now. So I'm gonna have to get that. I'm sure she's selling it tonight. And I just, I'm inspired by her so much. And when my sister-in-law first asked me if I wanted to go, I was like, I really can't, like money's tight. But I was like, this might be an opportunity that I might never get again in my life. So um, we decided to go, my sister-in-law as well, cause she's actually moving. So we both <laughs> were a little tight, but we were like, let's do it, let's go for this. So we're going. And I'm so excited. So it's going to be the best night ever. And I hope that you guys enjoy coming along with us. All right. So I am just uploading Vlogmas Day 2. I'm eating a little sandwich with some raspberries. And then I'm catching up on the bucket list family right now. That's what's happening before I get ready. I'm just going to tidy up like this area and stuff. And like Nala ate a leaf in the closet. And there's like pieces of it everywhere. So that's basically what's happening. We're just chilling before I go, huh? In our next guys, Bye guys, I cannot handle the cuteness. All right, guys, everyone say hi to my sister-in-law, Becca. Hey. I'm going to link her down below so you can check her out, but we are running so late <laughs> to Julie Andrews. I literally left two hours early for somewhere that's normally like 15 minutes away if there's no traffic and there was so much traffic. Look how beautiful it is. We made it, guys. This woman is about to be on that stage right there. I am so excited. Unfortunately, she is not allowing any photography or video during the performance. So we will give you a full recap after the show. But I'm sure it's going to be amazing. I cannot wait. So guys, there's a little intermission. The show is so good. She's literally answering um, questions from question cards that people filled out. I got some chips. Becca got some popcorn over here. Sorry, this is a really bad it's angle. Very unflattering. <laughs> I'm trying but not to get the people so behind me. <laughs> and then I got a brownie. I'm not drinking anything this half because I don't want to have to pee. So I'm not drinking anything. And also I'm the DD, so I can't drink anything alcoholic. The show is so great. Can't wait to talk about it later. And also we can take videos and film 
when she does her final bow, so I'm gonna take some for you guys. Time for the second half. That show was amazing, guys. We're sitting right over there. We just stood right there to take a picture in her presence of where her butt sat on that chair. <laughs> Memories. So there is the Cobb Energy Center sign. I didn't even realize that we parked right by it when we came in because we were so nervous we weren't gonna make it. <laughs> I'm a little shy. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna do a segment. <laughs> we're waiting for traffic if you can see behind us behind us there's cars i think they can we're on the top the floor of the parking garage and so we have we've got a while of sitting here so becca and oh, i no. a couple days ago i texted or i messaged her and i was like so do you think if we left at six we'd be good and she was like well the doors open at nine or at 90 minutes before the show and um, you were like, maybe we could go early and get like a uh, drink yeah. and chat and take Instagram pictures and videos. I was like, yeah, that sounds great. How about 5 30? Because the show started at 7 30. It's pretty early. <laughs> two One hours. would assume. Right, two hours early. Nothing's changed. I just looked to see <laughs> <laughs> if there's any difference at all. And so we left at 5 30. <laughs> we, everything was smooth sailing. I mean, we were stuck in quite a bit of traffic, which we anticipated because it's Atlanta. And then Becca realized as we were passing the exit that I was supposed to get off at, <laughs> Becca's like, wait, are you supposed to go there? I was like, no, no, I don't think so. I think I go this way. And then Becca was like, are you sure it doesn't have you on this path going off this exit? I was like, I don't think so. That doesn't match the name of the the map on the GPS. In her defense, it really did not <laughs> match at all. It was very <laughs> difficult to tell where we were going. Yeah, and it said our arrival time was 6.40. And so I passed the exit and then, you know, like how the GPS has you on the path? Well, then it took me off the path and put me <laughs> on, back on the highway. And the time changed from 6.40 to seven o'clock. And I was like, oh my gosh, I really have to pee. And we were like, there was no exit after this. Like the next exit was like two miles away and we were stuck in serious Atlanta traffic. Like semi trucks galore. It was honestly the worst I think I've ever seen. It was horrible. It was horrible. It was the worst. We almost, we really almost missed. We almost missed the start of the show. We and did. then the time kept changing. It went from like seven o'clock to seven ten to the latest seven twenty two, which thank God that did not happen or we would have been so screwed. I think Marissa had like a no small change. panic attack. I, I really did. I'm She's doing a great job driving some them. gas. Thanks, Becca. I was, <laughs> I was freaking out because I was like, this is my fault. I missed the turn. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, crap, I really have to pee. I told her like I was going to drive on the median and I was like, if a cop pulls me over, I'm literally just going to tell him that I'm pregnant and I really have to pee. <laughs> So hopefully he would give me mercy, but luckily we didn't have to resort to driving on the median. Or lying about pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so luckily I finagled my way and was an aggressive driver. And so we got aggressive. here. <laughs> you guys, she's so aggressive. <laughs> and we got here at 7.10, I think, was exactly. the arrival time. Mm -hmm. And luckily there was so much traffic and so many people waiting to park and so many people going through security that I don't even think the show started to like 740, 745. Yeah. So they like held it, but even if it hadn't, we were in our seats by 730. So we were like we are good to go. We we're so close. We are yeah. so close. We, almost, <laughs> we left two hours early. Two hours. But we still like I got to pee. We both got a drink, so that was good. But man. That was close. It was scary. That was so close. But it was worth it. Yeah. So that was our experience. Oh, this guy's inching forward. 
Maybe if you put your tail lights on, if you like act like you're gonna back it up, maybe somebody will be nice and somebody let you will out. let me in. Probably not. Probably not. I think I'll go once I see this guy pull forward. We're just gonna have to drive right off the roof, which is where we're parked on the roof. On the roof. There was almost no parking as well, which is interesting. Oh yes. So then we get here and we're like driving around each floor of the parking garage. And I was like saying a prayer in my heart that we would find a spot because I was like panicked that there would not be a spot and we would have to go find a spot. Luckily, I, I squeezed myself spot. into this one. Becca got out and directed me into the spot. That's that was great. <laughs> so we squeezed in and we made it, but it was worth it for Julie Andrews. It was so good. What was, was your favorite part? Were you gonna ask me? That? Uh, yeah, I was. <laughs> it was, was just so good, part? guys. It was like it wasn't what I was expecting. Honestly, I thought she was gonna like kind of give like a speech or like a talk. True, you know. Or, mm -hmm. but I honestly, I honestly liked it better because it felt a lot more personable. Because she literally, I got one of these to remember. She literally just read questions from these question cards. She was promoting her new book, Homework, which I'm going to be getting for sure. Becca's going to get it too. Yes. It was so personal. And it was so adorable. And it was hilarious. She had so many good stories. She has great stories. Like, you wouldn't you wouldn't believe. N yeah, no. I, like, she, you, I just, you can't even <laughs> capture, like, she's met Walt Disney, Carol Burnett, like, I can't even, Audrey Hepburn. her husband. I didn't realize she was married to Blake Edwards, which right. maybe I should have, but I didn't. Yeah, so, so famous. Like, oh my gosh. The Hammerstein brothers, or Hammerstein, however you say their names. Mm -hmm. She's freaking sang for the queen. Like, you can't, a legacy like that, it's just insane. So it was amazing. And she just answered like everybody's questions and just so good. I don't even know what my favorite part would be. I thought the part where she called um, Anne Hathaway Annie was just so cute to me. I can't get over that. Was that was adorable. Because it was like so personable. Like, you know, that's when you know you're a real friend of Anne Hathaway is when you call her <laughs> Annie. You call her Annie. <laughs> and then the part about her cursing, that was hilarious. You wouldn't think like the woman who's practically perfect in every way right. it's like really not mouth. she's got a potty <laughs> mouth it's so funny right it was hilarious there was like a question it was like can you please explain to my mom that if mary poppins can curse me a 50 year old woman can curse too <laughs> it was just so funny oh so many memories i don't even know like oh my gosh no the part where she um she like kind of sang spoke twice oh, yes and one yes. of them she went on and on and on. i forget yeah. what the name of that um sound oh yeah song was but she just either. she knew it still she Something knew it by getting heart. married I'm oh not, like i'm, I'm getting not getting married, married today like that. yeah she did like lines from it and she spoke so quickly <laughs> yeah. and so it's it was crazy that was like right. my heart stopped it was so good right. i just like i was telling becca like at her memory she's 84 years old Oh, it might be our time, guys, to move into the world. Maybe what an inch for. <laughs> she is 84 years old. And she... I'm waiting for this guy, because I'm never going to be able to move until this guy next to me. Oh, look, they're moves. both trying to get out. <laughs> they're both... They had their, everyone in. had the right idea of backing it. I wouldn't be able to back into this spot. I, I would have backed yeah. us right off the roof. We should have, but... Yeah, <laughs> we would have been so close with how tight this spot is. Look at everybody. Everyone's like... <laughs> we are stuck right now. Is this how you flip it? No, you have to stop it and then... Look at me. <laughs> you have to get all that out. <laughs> I'm like, how do you flip it? <laughs> you have to stop it and then flip it for some reason. I wish you could flip it because I sometimes like want to talk about something and I can't. But this honestly is so much better quality than the two cameras I have. Oh, really? Yeah. One day I'll get a better camera. Okay, we're about to enter way out. Um, but yes, when she sang those little parts, that was so adorable. And she like kind of sang, spoke... A couple songs from the sound of music for just like a few lines yeah and it just felt like we witnessed something that was really special nostalgic yeah, yeah. for sure okay when i turn you when i turn my car on you're gonna stop so hold on one second all right i'm continuing my show as we exit the parking garage we should name our show oh <laughs> i don't know what to name it though i'll have to think in a second we'll have to think of a name 
but yeah, it was amazing. Car I think ride a conversation. Yeah. Car ride a conversation, yes. Because the, the show was called an evening of conversation. <laughs> so we'll be the car ride of conversation. Um, yeah, I, I, Becca looked it up and there's one more show in Chicago, right? That's mm -hmm. the last one. Mm -hmm. Chicago. So if you can go, go. It was worth it, every penny. Because as much as I hate to say it, Oh yeah, you should say what you're thinking. One so. day, mm -hmm. when we're watching the Oscars, the name Julie Andrews is gonna pop up in memoriam. Like, it's just gonna happen one day. And we're gonna be like, we saw her in person. You know? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mm -hmm. squeeze you in a little bit. Sorry guys, we're, we're kind of far apart in this <laughs> car. We're squeezing in for the show. But it's just incredible to me like how much she's done. Like she has done so many, like not even just like with film, like she's adopted, like, She's just had so many she's life adopted, experiences. What, two children. Two children. She's been married twice. Like that's just so crazy to me. So crazy. It was so good. Ugh, I can't say enough about it. I really liked it. And just to hear her say like certain words, like at one point she said a million, just like she does in um, Do, oh. Do Re Mi, when she's like, you can sing a million different tunes. She sounded Aww. just like that in person. I was like, this is really her. And she said something else too, like, I don't remember, but. Oh, every time she says like, darling, I feel like that was oh, just yes. so. So cute. She called her daughter darling. <laughs> and she's like, oh, my husband was just so darling. She's just such a darling. She's just so perfect. She's like a perfect human being. So, yeah, we enjoyed it. I just think of more to say <laughs> about it. So many thoughts great show thank you julie andrews for having us thank you so much we'll never forget for everything really yeah all the memories sad i'm gonna it's cry just, again right? it's just crazy to think one day we're gonna be watching these movies with our kids like that's how much of a legacy she has Mary like Poppins, everybody in that audience felt the same way yeah like, right everyone felt so nostalgic it's just crazy it's so good so so good and I will never forget like the things she said about um, like talent and pursuing your dreams because it was really important yeah because especially even this past week with vlogmas and like I didn't tell you this but with my giveaway like three people entered my giveaway are you serious I thought that you would have would have had more people I know and it's it sounds so selfish but like I really did put like a lot of money and time into that and so like for three people to enter I was like well this kind of sucks and I was like what? Tell telling Blake like I don't even know if I want to do this anymore like I don't know what to do he's like he's like just do it for one more week and see how you feel and then <laughs> Julie Andrews I needed her today because she spoke some Aww. truth she was like that one thing she said uh, I'm getting tongue-tied because somebody asked like um what would you say about rejection or something like mm -hmm. that and she was basically like she's like get up dust yourself off get over it right. and get on with it and then like her daughter said like that once she was working with a talent manager or something like that and that he said that a lot of people have the talent but few people have the tenacity I don't think I'll ever forget that and now I really won't because I have it on video it's, <laughs> it's gonna be on my video and I hope this police doesn't pull us over for vlogging okay no he didn't know this no <laughs> Oh, and I actually need directions, so sorry guys. Oh, do you want me to? We'll resume this conversation later. I actually think we're supposed to go that way. <laughs> it's okay, we'll figure it out. Oh, we'll figure it out. Okay, I feel like go. everyone is going on to 285, so I'm just going to follow for a Follow time. people? Yeah. Follow the crowd. Your location. Okay, we'll resume later, guys. Thank you everyone so, so much for watching. I just got home and took a shower and now Blake is recording me for some reason. It's weirding me out. <laughs> I'm just making a quick little snack before dinner and then Blake and I are gonna watch Survivor. He's still recording me. It's very creepy. <laughs> We're gonna watch Survivor and I'm probably just gonna edit this vlog and head to bed. But seeing Julie Andrews, words cannot describe it. I get emotional just thinking about it. I can't believe I didn't even cry in the show because I was so blown away hearing her stories, like literally being in the same room as her. So cool. I just, 
I still can't believe that we did it. And I was so happy to spend the night with my sister-in-law, Becca. So that was so much fun. And anyway, guys, I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow with another vlog. Bye!